The company that in 2008 at the annual Air Venture Oshkosh Air Show publicly introduced what it calls the Martin Jetpack has responded to queries about the vehicle's controllability and have released this new footage. When the vehicle first flew before the crowd at Oshkosh, it did so with close attention of runners who stabilized the aircraft to assure the crowd's safety. Even earlier footage released by the company also showed the aircraft in flight with runners at the ready. But as you can see from this new footage, the aircraft can fly without people running next to it to stabilize the craft. Keen eyes will notice that the aircraft's control surfaces, which are behind the pilot's lower legs, move rapidly and significantly to maintain slow controlled flight and did not move smoothly in one direction but oscillate in pitch. The flight does appear more controlled, but it's not yet clear if that's the result of improvements in the vehicle's control system, improvements in the pilot's familiarity with that system, the controlled environment, were all of the above. When publicly introduced in late July of 2008, designer Glenn Martin had expressed his hope that the aircraft would in six months have expanded its test envelope by flying at altitudes of 500 feet and that it might win orders for as many as 10 vehicles by July of 2009. Test programs tend to be slower than designers might hope and this new footage of the vehicle released April 21st, 2009 may yet fall short of anxious observers' expectations. But with funding, the test program and the aircraft's development will continue and will keep you up to date.